Hello friends, today we shall discuss about topic waterfall project management. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management. So let's start friend. Uh, friend, project management has one type that is called as waterfall. Waterfall is a traditional project management approach which is basically a very straightforward approach for managing the projects. Like imagine it's like building a house step by step where you finish one phase completely before moving on, on to the next. So it is the most important point in the waterfall approach that we uh, we cannot go back. We have to first complete one phase and then to the next phase. So like the key characteristics in the waterfall project management is the sequential phases that means every uh, phase is distinct um, in in the approach and each flowing it to the next that means one phase finish then the next phase will start then clear requirements mean the requirements are defined at the beginning and are typically not changed each phase produce documentation that guides to the next phase now uh, what are the phases in the waterfall first one is the requirement gathering that means we understand and document what the project needs to achieve then uh, design phase that means plan how to achieve those requirements then implementation means that build or develop the project uh, appropriately then testing means to actually ensure everything works as planned and prop working properly then deployment means deliver the project to users or customers and then maintenance that fix any issues and make minor improvements over time uh, now uh, friend uh, if, let's take an example of building a house first one is the first phase is the requirement gathering that means discuss with the home owner to understand their needs that how many number of rooms are required what is the style required budget etc these things will be discussed with the home owner the output of this phase is a detailed requirement document for example the home owner wants three bedroom two bathroom house with a modern kitchen and a garden so this is the requirement of the home owner now the design phase come that uh, we create architectural plans based on the requirement and the output is the blueprint and the design document normally we called it as a functional specification document uh, for example an architect draws up plans for the house showing the layout of rooms plumbing and electrical systems uh, then implementation phase come in which we start the actual construction according to the plans the physical structure of the house will be produced for example builders lay the foundation construct walls install plumbing and electrical systems and put on the roof then testing phase come in which we inspect the house to ensure everything is built accordingly and correctly working output is the a completed inspection report a building uh, inspector checks the house meets all safety codes and the homeowner verifies that the room are built as specified then deployment means that we hand over the house to the homeowner and the output is that the uh, we have a completed livable house for example the homeowner moves into the new house the maintenance phase come in which we perform any necessary repair and upkeep and the output is the ongoing support and maintenance records and fixing uh, if for example fixing a leaky faucet or repairing a room as needed here uh, the question is that why we use a waterfall friend uh, waterfall is very easy to understand and manage since each phase is clearly defined easier to track progress since you complete one phase before moving to the next and it produces detailed documentation which is helpful for future reference now when is waterfall best used uh, friend it is uh, used best when we have requirements are well understood and unlikely to change and for projects where each phase needs to be completed before the next can start uh, like industries like for example construction manufacturing and software development where changes are costly limitations of waterfall are there for example uh, in the waterfall we cannot go back and make changes once a phase is completed so it's sequential and strictly we follow uh, issues found late in the process can be costly to fix and can be slower as you cannot overlap phases so a uh, friend waterfall project management is like a step by step recipe each phase has a specific goal and must be finished before moving on it's great for projects with clear unchanging requirements but can be less flexible for projects that need frequent adjustments